Ja? Ja, ik weet niet of, uh, hoe laat... Uh... Ja, oké. Okay. So, good morning. Um, this session is about the Joomla vol volunteer portal. Um, that's an idea that slowly grew over the past months. And today I would like to present the kind of general ID uh, behind it uh, in a couple slides. And then uh, I would like to have a kind of open discussion with uh, all of you to see if you have other suggestions, ideas, uh, or may be interested to help moving this forward. So for the 2013, the CLT set several goals. Um, we are going to update several sites like the community website, the extensions directory, the resource directory. Um, we will update the Joomla template and make it easier with the one manual system across all sites instead of changing at the moment when we change the link we have to do that on all sites which is a lot of work. Um, we're going to launch a new website, the template directory, improve the internationalization of Joomla.org and we would like to increase the number of Joomla user groups around the world. And another goal is to launch a new Joomla volunteer portal and that's what I would like to present today. Um, the issue. We all know a lot of us being here are involved with Joomla. Uh, we have a lot of volunteers, a lot of things to do, uh, but it's not always easy to match the task with the volunteers. Also, uh, a lot of discussions happen at the Skype chats. Um, and that's, of course, nice to get involved, but it's not really that open for new people to jump in because you first have to be invited to the Skype chat. Uh, and I also noticed that in uh, some bigger Skype chats, it's sometimes hard to filter out the, the possible task out of the discussions. The great ideas that are being shared uh, are simply yeah, moving up because a lot of discussion take place afterwards and people forget about some great ideas that have been discussed in those Skype chats. So with the Joomla volunteer portal, we hope to uh, make it easier to match the uh, available task in a project with available volunteers. Um, also to make it easier and more fun to volunteer, like uh, you can see what's going on, uh, find your area of interest and, get, and jump in and get involved. It will also provide, hopefully, a lot of insights in what's actually being done in the community. At the moment, it's really hard to see uh, which people, how many people, uh, how many hours are people working on a uh, certain task in the project. Uh, and once that is more clear, it's easier for the project to say, okay, we have to focus on this or focus on that but also to recognize and thank the people that are doing a lot of things uh, within our community. So uh, the volunteer portal will uh, have several areas and uh, in the next slides I will discuss each time an area and with some more like general brainstorming around it um, and to give an, a, a view about where we're going. So of course the volunteer profile, a volunteer will be able to create a profile on the website and in your volunteer profile you will add your skills, your area of interest, uh, your contact details, how people can find you, um, an overview of the things you've been working on in the past or currently working on, um, your experience for example in local communities, what the things you have done there. Uh, so it's also easy to f uh, visit the profile of another volunteer and to get an impression okay he's doing that and he might be able to help me with this or that. So to get to know each other better and to also see what areas we're working on. Um, another thing that might be interesting to see is if we can work with the kind of uh, accomplishments or batch system. So once uh, people contributed a certain uh, or completed a certain number of tasks, they get a batch like I've been helping out on a volunteer uh, of in a Joomla project and you can pu publish that batch on your website, for example, to show, look, I'm not only using Joomla, but I'm, I also try to make it better. Um, it's a kind of reward system, it's uh, often working very well to have yeah, it's a kind of recognition, uh, recognition people can use uh, on the website or at their uh, CV or whatever they want. Another area is the groups. That will be a very central uh, place of the system. Uh, of course there should be things like a sharing of files. Now we have uh, the Skype chats that uh, people are sending files to each other. We have Dropbox where files are stored, we have Google Docs where files are stored, we have uh, other systems, it's, so it's really uh, diverse and I think it will be good to have it wh when you're working on a certain group at one place so it's easier to find and also for new people to find the older files that already have been shared with that group. Uh, another very important thing is of course the task. So uh, 
the group can easily, after a discussion in Skype, for example, say, okay, this is a task and we're going to add it. Uh, it's not necessary that directly uh, somebody is assigned to it, but we can add some deadlines. We want to have that done before this and this date. Um, for this task, we have certain skills needed, like uh, we need a graphic designer for creating a logo, um, and an estimate of the time needed. Uh, once we have that information in a task, it is also easy to help people uh, finding matches with the volunteers. For example, a volunteer can log in on the website and say, okay, I have 20 minutes, uh, and my skill is this and this, and the website will provide you suggestions you can do in 20 minutes to help out in the Joomla project. Um, Start a new group should be very easy. So when you have an idea in a community uh, and you have a couple of people that are interested in helping out with you, you should be able to simply create a new group and start working on it. Um, I really hope that we will be able to uh, not uh, review the group so there will be no pending stuff, so it's directly visible so you can start working on it and have a kind of community social control on groups with a more reporting and the team is looking afterward. But I think it should be very low barrier to create new groups and start uh, with at that momentum that people have with new ideas energy to allow them to directly work on things and not wait for a couple of weeks before a group is created or published and then be able to continue on it. Of course, an uh, overview of all members and maybe their roles, it depends on the kind of group you're working in. Sometimes it's good to have an overview, okay, this is really the team lead or not. Uh, so, you know, we'll, who else is in the team? Uh, there should be space for general information about this is how we normally we work we have a meeting each couple of weeks online or whatever place so some kind of a kind of, kind of uh, general information and documentation about the group and the most of the groups hopefully are public uh, but in some cases it might be needed that a group is private uh, so that should be a possibility but i would like to prefer as much as possible in public so this is the kind of general idea behind groups and when you think about groups, it can be all kinds of things. It can be uh, the marketing team, that's currently a very big group in the Skype chat. A lot of things are going on, but uh, I think that's one of the groups that will benefit a lot of be able to create some tasks and maybe some subgroups as well for creating the Joomla 3 landing page. And then we need the logo, we need the web page, we need somebody who's converting the, the design into a HTML page. We have to, somebody needs to set up uh, um, a Joomla website, we need the translation, so that are all tasks that can be added to the group and people can sign up to work on that. Uh, another idea is like a, a group for Joomla they organize to share ideas, knowledge in organizing Joomla uh, days around the world for Joomla user groups. Of course for the, the teams we have around the, uh, our project. Um, to involve women in Joomla, it's also like Diane is also quite often having that topic, it would be great to have a place that people can easily find a group, oh, that's I'm interesting to see if I can get involved and help with that. Uh, or any Joomla thing you can think of uh, that should be have a group. Uh, another central area the volunteers will use, I think in the end a lot, is the volunteer dashboard. That will be an activity stream of all the things that are going on in the groups you are involved. So you can simply go to one page and see, ah, these are new tasks are added in my group. Uh, these tasks are completed, this new discussion are taking place. Um, these are my upcoming deadlines I assigned to. So we have an overview, okay, I said, I will create a logo before that date. Uh, to simply keep that in mind and not always pushing it forward till you have find some time. Uh, the what can I do button. So you click on it, uh, say I have an hour of time. Uh, what can I do right now? Um, and of course the system can suggest you tasks that you might be interested based on uh, the skills on your profile and make it a kind of smart to see if we can suggest to people uh, things they probably would like. Um, that's the kind of more the personal uh, dashboard and then there's of course the general uh, community activities with the uh, overview of everything that's going on so people can see okay what's going on today in the community oh that looks great I want to get involved with that as well or um, I have some ideas for that. I mean, nowadays things are going in Skype. People with probably great ideas can't see them. Um, leaderboards like batches, people being involved. We just saw with Andrea Tarr this morning with the, the overviews about the, the bugs being fixed. Uh, I think that was a great way on a developer portal to motivate people to keep working on things. And it's in the end a simple list of names and the things you've done, but a lot of people appreciate those kind of recognition. 
Um, and once we have also uh, more statics as uh, the Joomla project we've we been working on what, uh, it gives us a lot of great insights on which areas we can support better in the Joomla project or uh, is going pretty well and say uh, thank you to the people that are really working hard on certain areas and uh, we can say thank you in many ways like uh, a volunteer of the month, having an interview with a volunteer in a Joomla community magazine, uh, send the people a t-shirt or a new Joomla book. There are many ways to say appreciate the things you are doing for the Joomla community and we would like to give you something back in return of that. Uh, and in the end, hopefully to motivate uh, people to keep contributing and join new themes and start working on the project. Um, what you see, especially like events like this, that a lot of people are talking with each other. Uh, wouldn't it be great to do this or that? Uh, I think we have a kind of IDs portal for more the Joomla CMS. Uh, I think an area with community IDs where people can post an ID for the community improve it would be nice. And then people can say, that's a great ID, I really support it, and I would like to be, uh, get involved with that ID to make it happen. Or maybe that isn't a good ID because of this or this. So kind of initial uh, testing if things would be worth to start working on it. And when a lot of people say, okay, this is a great ID, I like it, or want to get involved, then you can simply convert it into a group and start working on it uh, to make it happen. Uh, one of the uh, last areas is which would be helpful, I think, for the uh, volunteer portal is a kind of match or, or dating area. So um, people are uh, looking for someone experience in creating sponsorship packages. That's something that some people invested a lot of time in it. And when you start a new Joomla day, it can be a lot of work to find out what price do I need to set, what is working, what isn't. Uh, based, uh, you can post your kind of call, who's able to help me, or of course, via the, the volunteer profiles, you can find the people that might be able to help you. Um, for example, Ruth was telling yesterday, during, or the day before yesterday during a meeting, that uh, Joomla de Kenya had some uh, sponsorship package help with that, but also to make it a good uh, English version of it. So to find the people that are able to do some smaller files to help you with certain things. And uh, that's also, a, a lot of people are really eager to help each other, to, to and it can be just a couple minutes of work, but make it easier to find the people that are able to help you. Um, of course, there should be a big page how to get started anyway. Uh, a step-by-step -step guide to get involved. And it's not always by joining the groups. It can also be like when you have five minutes, go to the forums and help two people. And they will. you already contributed to Joomla. So it's not limited to only the, the groups, but more like some general ID page about what you can do in the community. Um, and of course some kind of game rules not really the, the rules like you have to agree with this this and this but it will be nice to behave in this way have respect for each other uh, understand that not all people the, the main uh, langu uh, language is English so understand that people might uh, understand things differently than you would expect so keep that in mind Another thing that I think is very important for this website, especially as well, is, is to have it in multilingual, so more languages available. Also the possibility to create groups for uh, a Spanish area, for a Spanish project people want to work on. So it's not just limited to English. And also when people are uh, willing to create a group, uh, not re maybe related to the, to the official Joomla project or the international one, but something for a local uh, event or or community, but use the system we have, they should be able to use it and uh, create a group in their language. And of course, that needs some good thinking about how we're going to, for example, with the activity stream, when you don't read Spanish, uh, it's probably not that useful when you see all kind of Spanish messages coming through. But so that needs some kind of thinking how we, how we can handle that in a good way. But uh, I think it will be very important to allow uh, groups and discussions also uh, happen in other languages than just English. Then the good question is, like, how are we going to build this? Um, there are, I think, a couple options. We can use existing tools and services, uh, like uh, Basecamp, for example, that's really, really good in project management, task management, but it's maybe not that with the social volunteer profile thing we have in mind. Um, so I've did some research, and if you have suggestions, I would love to hear them, but I think it will be very hard to find a good solution for everything we have in mind with this. Uh, based on an existing service. Um, we can do uh, some uh, current Joomla extensions. There are some 
a, a, a lot of exchanges doing one out of the things we're thinking about and trying to hook them, connect them together. Uh, and another option, and I personally would like to think that that will be a nice way to do this, is a custom Joomla exchange developed by the community itself. And let's also do that development of the volunteer portal on really a way to ask developers to join and help a couple hours, spend a couple hours on development uh, of the community. So add it on GitHub and also when people want to improve the volunteer portal and they see a bug or whatever they think that could be improved, they can go to GitHub, uh, issue a pull request and make it better altogether. So I think ideal uh, situation would be that it was a real community project where uh, a lot of volunteers are getting involved in building this as well. It will not always be easy in that way, but I think it will be very strong to uh, yeah, get the whole volunteer portal ID going. So other ideas that has been mentioned uh, to maybe to uh, interesting to look in, uh, into is uh, having webinars as well on the website to explain how people can get involved. Uh, that's getting more and more popular in, in the Latin uh, American countries as well. Um, and also in English you see a lot of more web webinars, so we can organize that and add that in place. Um, another thing is a single sign-on. I think a lot of people are asking that already for a very long time for the Joomla project, that with all the subsites to have one place to you create your profile and log in on the other websites. The volunteer portal might be a good way to look into this, uh, also because when we can have some connection with those other Joomla websites, we can also retrieve data about how many people you helped on the forums uh, and get that data back on your volunteer profile and also show that over there. So, or uh, whatever area you can think of in the project where people are working on to retrieve that data back. Uh, and I would love to hear your ideas as well. Uh, so I just gave a kind of short impression uh, about the ideas we have. And the next step is that uh, hopefully, uh, we can discuss a couple ideas I, I or others haven't think about it yet. Uh, so your suggestion feedback is much welcome. And then hopefully maybe one or more of you are interested also to help out to make this really happen in the next month. And uh, it might be close, but I think that at least an initial version, uh, maybe not with all things there yet, but uh, like the group thing will be great if we can launch that at the Joomla World Conference in November. So that's about six months, but I think when we have a group of people that are really interested to help out that it should be possible. And it will be a kind of ongoing discussion. So um, I would love to start kind of discussion and hear about your ideas, uh, about if you think the idea is something that we should work on or it's not going to work at all. And I would like to hear why you don't think it's going to work. So anyone would like to kick off? Yes, sir. Um, I think I'm um, almost proud that in the whole room I'm perhaps one of the least uh, active volunteers. <laughs> uh, I have so many uh, ideas anyway. The, the whole uh, Joomla project itself is, um, is so vast, so complex, uh, because there are so many people doing so many different things. And one of the main challenges is therefore to uh, well build one website that gathers all the information about all the voluntary groups. So actually, uh, one website almost seems like a flat thing for something which is actually uh, very, very deeply complex. Um, so one thing that, that um, occurred to me when you were discussing the, the groups as a feature mm -hmm. is actually that uh, the well, the, you have the Joomla project itself then a lot of these uh, people involved with the Joomla project are organizing an event like Day and Beyond. Then from that you have uh, a, a level deeper, that's the Joomla days in every country. And then you have another level deeper and that's the Joomla user groups. So actually um, it would suggest like you have uh, one group which is uh, the, the major group of um, spreading the word or well, uh, organizing events. But then you have, uh, below that, you have uh, country level uh, groups. Yeah. And below that you have, so, so in the group ID, there has to be something, um, this is a difficult word. Some so nest that is. Yeah. yeah. I always hate that and, and, and that's actually the, the same for, for example, the marketing group. The marketing is a very yeah. big thing. But there are, uh, like for example, the, the landing page that has been created for Joomla 3 is really a smaller thing of the marketing thing in general. So. Um, 
it, or a way to have nested groups or a way to categorize the groups or yeah. uh, pegging groups or well, um, just by using user groups yeah. itself it, it solves also as uh, part of the solution yeah. and they have content specific for one group or one yeah. and we seem to have a place to sell it which was up here yeah, yeah. 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 Recording stop. <laughs> <laughs>